good morning. Good morning. We are about 100 k's west of Catherine. Drove down from Darwin yesterday, it was about a four hour drive. And now we're heading west. Woo! To Western Australia. Woo! Okay, enough. <laughs> Let's go. So we're pretty excited about that. So come join us on the journey. We are just east of the West Australian border and we've just made a quick stop to ditch some contraband. So we're not allowed to bring a lot of fruit and veggies in. We have tried to minimise what we have and we didn't stock up on a lot of stuff in our last shop but we do still have a bunch of stuff like some onions and I don't know what else we've had to We had to get rid of our firewood. There's a bunch of different things that we've got to get mm. rid of before we go across. Although I think I can peel the onions and keep some onions so I might try and do that and see how we go. You can have peeled so onions but you can't have onions in their skins. Yeah. I, I guess know. it's the, the dirt is the issue. Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. Just coming into the border now through quarantine checkpoint. Heavy vehicles, light vehicles. What are we? I guess we're a light vehicle. Welcome to Western Australia. Yee. New state unlocked. New state unlocked. I reckon we're going to get a more thorough search because we're like a motor home. Hey mate. Good, how are you? Good. Anything to declare today mate? Fresh no. fruits, vegetables, honey? No, we just got rid of it all. Any? Look in the back mate. Yeah, no worries. The only thing was the carrots. Oh, I've got carrots, but they're bagged. We've just arrived at the caravan park at Lake Argyle. It was uh, $54 a night for two people unpowered, but we're gonna look past that because it has an incredible view and that infinity pool that I feel like every person on Instagram has taken a photo at, so I'm sure we will be no different. And Julius is a bit sleepy, but we're gonna go exploring. Let's go. Well, we spent most of the afternoon at the pool, which was very nice. Cool. <laughs> Just making some dinner now. I think we're gonna have an early night because I've got some activities planned for tomorrow. So we'll see you in the morning. Good morning, it is just after 5 a.m. and we're heading off on the bluff lookout walk. Brooke's motivation for getting out of bed to do this hike early was that it's actually cool at the moment. Apparently by 8 a.m. it's going to be 30 degrees. Eight or nine.
the sun's just come up next to us, which is just so spectacular. It's amazing. to the top, what do you reckon? This is pretty epic, I gotta say. And on sunrise too. Believe it or not, I made it here without having a coffee. So now I get to have my coffee in a pretty epic spot. Heading back to camp now, and I have to say, what an epic way to start the day and probably one of my favorite places in WA so far. Bruh. <laughs> We've already been in WA for, for 40Ks if you didn't get the joke, so. <laughs> First place we've stopped. Well, after a really lovely time here at Lake Argyle, it is time to go. We um, did ponder the idea of another night here, but at $54 for an unpowered site, I just, uh, just couldn't do it. So um, we're gonna go do some shopping and then figure out where we're gonna stay tonight. Sus in the creek crossing, brother. We stopped in at Kununurra this morning to stock up on groceries and fuel. Now we've come to Emma Gorge. We're just gonna hike up to the gorge now. Well, we made it to the gorge and this is something else. It's really epic here. And we have the whole place to ourselves, which is awesome as well. So I'm gonna go in for a little swim now and just enjoy this. Well, we've had an epic day today and now we've come to our camp for the night. Making dinner at the moment, got a simple beetroot, carrot and apple salad on the go with some marinated chicken. 
something a little bit light and easy. Not light and easy, <laughs> just light and easy. <laughs> I'm gonna go in circles with that. <laughs> and tomorrow we're gonna keep driving west. Good morning. We're about to hit the road, so let's go. legs over there. A pair of legs. Like like three clawed scaly legs. They're like this big. Do we need to go have a look? Like from an emu or something. What? It's just a pair of them like laying next to each other. Where are they? Over there. Feathers and rubbish? Bro, what the hell? Weird, hey? So weird. So weird. I'm gonna try and erase that one from my memory. <laughs> Call memories of this trip. But make everyone else see it. Yeah. We just passed through Halls Creek, filled up for fuel there, and we're just Have... making some lunch now, mm. and we're gonna keep on going. Yeah. Very strange come, though. Come to the outback, kids. <laughs> Get some emu legs. Gosh. What happened? <laughs> what happened, sir? Uh, I know this broke. Good, we can get rid of it. <laughs> Not the beans. I just wanted a coffee. You really did spill the beans. Ah! <laughs> Ready to open a can of worms next or? Hot chocky. Lady, that is clearly a nice chocolate. Coffee. You finally got there in the end. We wouldn't have had this issue if I was allowed to have the grinder on the bench all the time. Just pulled into camp for the night. We were on the road for nearly seven hours today and we only passed through one little town, which was Halls Creek. But yeah, we're pretty exhausted, so we will see you tomorrow. Good morning. We are ready to hit the road again. We're aiming to get just outside Broome, so we've got a long day of driving ahead of us. Like, you're not really camping anymore, are ya? Hey buddy.
Thank you. It's so hot. I am so done. It's been a long week of driving. We just pulled into camp. We're about an hour out of Broome now, so we're getting close. No. So we've just gotten into Broome and there are some markets on so we're going to go explore those. Not sure how keen you are on the markets but I'm hoping there's some food there because we're getting a bit hungry. And yeah we're just going to explore the rest of what Broome has to offer so come with us. It's also our one year wedding anniversary which is pretty crazy that that has gone that fast. Yeah it doesn't feel like that. One year since you've done the worm in your wedding dress. <laughs> Yeah, let's, let's, let's not bring that up. Nah. But yeah, let's go check out Broom. Now we're off to get some food. I'm really hungry, but it's only 10 o'clock. So I don't know whether it's lunch, it's brunch, it's just a scone. A scone? A scone. We'll see what we end up with. First look at the water of the west coast. It looks pretty sweet. I've just come down to Simpsons Beach and I don't know if it's the week of driving or if it's the heat but we're feeling a little bit tired at the moment. We might need an afternoon nap but the water is looking absolutely sensational so can't wait to go and explore a little bit further. We've made it to Cable Beach. It is insanely hot here, so I'm gonna make us a little smoothie. But we're gonna spend the afternoon and hang out here and wait for sunset. Is it past the test? Yeah. So we've set up on the beach, having a little anniversary picnic here, and we're gonna watch the sunset. And hopefully, we're gonna see some camels come past in front of us. But actually, Well, we're going to leave you guys here for now. That was a lovely way to spend a Sunday afternoon. Mm. And we'll see you in the next one. Yeah. <laughs> No, I didn't mean film, I meant get it sorted. Can you go under it? Well, after a really lovely time here at Lake Argyle, and then we're gonna just explore what, then we're just gonna explore the rest of Broom and we'll take you along. And we'll take you. <laughs> None of that. All right. Very nice and light. <laughs> <laughs>